We are at the iconic Venetian Hotel in Las Vegas. We spent two nights here in the Prestige Club and we can't wait to tell you everything you need to know before you book. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Max. I'm Marin. And we're Voyager Crew. We post weekly videos with travel tips, hotel reviews, and videos from some of our favorite destinations around the world. So if you don't already, consider subscribing. And of course, if you like this video and you find the content useful, make sure to give us a thumbs up. It really helps our videos get more exposure and produce more videos just like this. Like Max mentioned, we are in the Prestige Club during the stay. We'll talk more about what the benefits of that are in the facilities section. Our first category is location. Location, we rate five stars. The Venetian's been around a long time and it really is at the heart of the Strip. In addition to the great location, the Venetian has plenty of things that you actually come to Vegas to see, including the canal shops with the Grand Canal replica, with the gondolas and their amazing ceiling and outside of the building with the big St. Marco's replica, which looks like downtown Venice. This Venetian themed hotel has plenty of things to see. Everything from the actual themed amenities that they have here, like the gondola ride, as well as a number of shows and one of the largest convention centers in all of Vegas. It really is like a Disney world in Las Vegas, even for adults. Everything from the Italian restaurants to the other amenities. It's really been a fun experience. The location also puts you slightly more towards the north of the strip, but you're also still in great proximity to Caesars and a little bit of a walk towards Bellagio, but because of its location on the northern side of the Strip, you're also significantly closer to the Wynn and Encore and the Fashion Show Mall. It does put you in an ideal location on the Strip, and there's so many things to see from this location as well. In fact, directly from the Prestige Club, we were able to look right over to the Mirage and see the fire show at night. Our second category is Lobby and Check-In. Lobby and Check-In were rate three and a half stars. I think if you were arriving by taxi or Uber, maybe you would have had a slightly different experience. However, the long lines in the lobby, the crowds of people, and the lack of valet parking were a bit of a challenge when we checked it. Luckily for us, we were part of the Prestige Club, so we did have a separate check-in, but even getting to that check-in was a little bit tricky. It's located on the 36th floor, and to get from the actual lobby to that 36th floor, there's a lot of signage, a little bit confusing, and if you've come here before, for, it might be a little bit easier to find. If you're not booking the Prestige Club, I would expect longer lines. That is kind of the name of the game here. If you are part of the Prestige Club for your stay, you do have access to your own private lobby. There was no lines at any point in time the entire time we were here. So it's definitely worth that if you're trying to avoid the lines. You also are welcomed with champagne and you have the club lounge that you've access to for the duration of your stay. Our third category is rooms. Rooms are eight four stars. We love the rooms at the Venetian and they are really famous for having all suites for all room types. The two-tiered room with the sunken living room and the bed that has a really classic look to it, almost like a canopy, but with a beautiful backdrop. It's very elegant and everything throughout this hotel really exudes that style of classic Venetian architecture. It's a little bit gaudy, but although the Venetian has been around for quite a while, it doesn't feel as dated as you would expect. The theme has actually been maintained, and as you look around the room, the room is in really good condition. There's not the usual scuffs that you would see on walls that you would expect in normal hotels, particularly of this age, to see that much wear and tear, but I think they've done a really good job of maintaining these rooms, keeping the theme up to date. It is a little bit more classic, a lot of hardwoods, a lot of fabrics on the wall, but if you like that theme, I think they've done a really good job with it. They haven't made it too gaudy. It still does have some nice elegance to it, and it really is a beautiful room. We really like the addition of the USB ports that were added to the desk. We also love that the drapes and the curtains are automated, so you don't have to get out of bed to open the blinds, and that's a really nice addition, whether it was added after the fact or when it was first built. We have no idea, but it's been maintained really well. With that in mind, they are still missing some of the modern amenities that we'd like to see in a room, like being able to turn off all the lights through a master switch. There's a lot of lamps in this room, as well a lot of independent lights. And though they've tried to place the light switches in locations that make them a little bit easier to find, it was a little bit tricky trying to find all the different lights in the room. We also love the bathroom. It is a very nice size. There are two sinks. There's a very large soaking tub with a television, shower, and the Venetian products that they have personalized. One of the amenities that comes with the Prestige Club is a higher floor room. So that is a really nice addition. You can actually see the strip from most of the rooms on the Prestige Club. So rather than perhaps facing a wall or facing into another building, you do have access to slightly nicer views. The rooms do have a mini bar. It is a paid mini bar and the prices are quite high as is common with all Las Vegas hotels. There is not a personal fridge, microwave, or coffee machine in the room, so just keep that in mind. Our fourth category is service. Service, we rate four stars. We've had really positive interactions with a lot of staff here on property. In general, they are all polite, professional, and really interested in helping you. In the Prestige Club in particular, they were very attentive at all hours of the day. We also briefly 
briefly visited the Palazzo Prestige Club and it was kind of the same thing there. They were welcoming and very helpful as were most of the people that we interacted with, including down at the pool where we briefly talked to some of the lifeguards to try and get directions. There's a number of pools, which we'll talk more about in facilities, but it was really helpful to get a little bit of a helping hand as to where you were going. It's really easy in a hotel like this to become jaded, but we found the staff to be incredibly professional and not really jaded at all. With that said, as with most hotels, I do think that the Bell staff and the valet could use a little bit of an improvement. The valet service was completely full when we were there, and though they were somewhat helpful in getting us pointed in the right direction, I do think that that experience in general from a service perspective could have been better. And the same goes for that Bell staff, who certainly aren't shy about asking for tips. It was a little bit disorganized in that you were seeing a couple different people, and you did feel obligated to tip kind of every single person, which wasn't the best experience from a guest service perspective. Lastly, housekeeping is daily here, unlike some of the other hotels that we've stayed at on the Strip. We really appreciate that they've kept the daily housekeeping. The housekeepers did a great job overall, and we were really impressed with them. Our fifth category is dining. Dining, we rate four stars. The Venetian has a tremendous amount of restaurants between the Cadal shops, the Palazzo, and the Venetian Hotel. Since we were part of the Prestige Club, we did have their complimentary continental breakfast, which was fairly simple toast, oatmeals, various cereals. They had some pastries, yogurts, some hard boiled eggs, a mix of things that you'd expect to see in a continental breakfast, but it certainly is on the simple side. Coffee and tea were available throughout the day, as well as hors d'oeuvres in the afternoons with a complimentary happy hour from four to seven. So we did take full advantage of those benefits. The Prestige Club did offer a great value, particularly if you're used to spending 20 to $30 a person just on breakfast alone downstairs in the canal shops. Typically cocktails in bars in Las Vegas Vegas range anywhere from $15 to $30 a piece. So being able to have a complimentary happy hour with beverages like Negronis, margaritas, mojitos, wine, beer, and so on was really a tremendous value, particularly for us. We usually have a couple of cocktails and that alone takes care of that extra expense to upgrade to the Prestige Club. But even if you're looking for some drinks outside of those hours, they do also have a cash bar that they run throughout the day. And those prices, I would say are about 30 to 40% cheaper than the prices that you're gonna find down on the casino floor or throughout the hotels. As an example, if you're looking to make that continental breakfast into more of a brunch, they do have a $25 bottomless mimosas that they offer. So there are some deals to be found there. Outside of the Prestige Club, there are so many restaurants on property. You could really come back here year after year and not try the same ones. We did try Canaletto's on this trip, which is one of the traditional Italian restaurants that they offer in St. Mark's Square downstairs in the canal shops. The pizza was really good at Canaletto's. In addition to the atmosphere, it's really fun to be able to sit down in the canal shops in what feels like an Italian square, looking up those beautiful painted ceilings and all these false walls. It really makes a fun and exciting atmosphere that removes you completely to another area. You don't feel like you're in Las Vegas, Nevada, it does feel very Italian. And like Marin said, it's a lot like Disney World for kids. It's fun to see some of these themed hotels in Vegas that have continued to thrive. It is worth noting that the Venetian doesn't offer a lot for early risers when it comes to coffee or breakfast items. There's really only one or two cafes that early risers can get to before breakfast hours, being like coffee, bean, and tea leaf, for example. It would be really nice to see if they don't have coffee machines in the room, that they do offer coffee in different areas of the hotel at an earlier time. Our sixth category is facilities. Facilities were at five stars. The Venetian, along with just being architecturally beautiful and thematically beautiful, it really has a lot to offer guests on vacation, if you're here for a conference, or if you're just here visiting Las Vegas. From over 10 pools, the beautiful Canyon Ranch Spa, and the casino, you really have everything you need for a perfect vacation. The gym here at Canyon Ranch Spa is an incredible gym, and you can access it from both the Palazzo and the Venetian. Now, though the Palazzo does seem to have its own fitness center, the one on the Venetian side is significantly larger, and I would say it's probably the largest gym of any gym we've been to in Vegas. The Bellagio and the MGM Grand also have huge gyms, but I think this might be one of my favorites. It's not as updated as the Conrad, which we just visited. However, it does have a lot of really nice gym equipment, and it is very expansive with a large variety of things that you can do, including rock climbing. They have a rock climbing wall that goes right up through the middle of that Canyon Ranch spa. It's pretty cool. There's also weight rooms, there's machine rooms. They have more treadmills than I could count. It's really a fantastic fitness center if you are looking for a gym that probably won't get too crowded during your stay. Even in the winter, a number of pools and jacuzzis are open, which we thought was amazing. That is the trend here in Las Vegas these days that they do maintain some of their pools throughout the year. So in the summer, you do have access to over 10 different pools across the properties, but in the winter, you still have access to four or five. Having stayed at the Palazzo in the Venetian a few times before, it is worth noting that the pools don't have the best sun exposure, particularly in winter. You're going to find a little bit more afternoon sun than you're going to find sun 
kind of early morning and throughout the day, as the sun can be blocked by the main buildings. However, in the main pool season, there is certainly more sun on that pool. There's also a couple of theaters on property as well. They do run a number of shows throughout the year, including Atomic Saloon. The theaters are very small, so it is a very intimate experience. So while the prices do seem a little bit higher than some of the other theaters around Las Vegas, they are a really nice experience because you do get very close to the stage either way. And of course, one of the coolest features that they have at this hotel are the canal shops. It's just an incredible experience to be able to walk down the canals, see the gondolas going in and out of the bridges, the gondoliers that are singing, and you actually can ride in those gondolas. It is a bit pricey, but if you're doing it for a special occasion and you'd like to experience that traditional Venetian gondola, it can be pretty cool. You do also get access to the Palazzo's Prestige Club, which seemed to have been updated a little bit more recently. I really like that club in general. It also had a very different view. I think both views from both clubs are really nice, but it is something to keep in mind that whether you're staying at the Palazzo or the Venetian, you can actually access both clubs. Our seventh and final category is style. Style rate four stars. The Venetian is a Venice themed hotel and the style is incredibly thorough across the property, though a little bit dated. Though it has been a number of years since this hotel was developed, they have done a great job of actually maintaining all of the design and the style throughout the hotel and keeping it somewhat up to date. In the rooms, you'll see more of a classic Venetian style, something a little bit more reminiscent of the late 80s, early 90s. Whereas down by the pools, you'll find a little bit more of a modern contemporary take on Italian design, where they've introduced some more Italian beach themed design. It reminds a lot of being on the coast in Amalfi or Santorini, that kind of style where they have a lot of pops of color in the umbrellas, beautiful white marble. And in general, that style is a little lighter and not quite as heavy as the heavy Italian style that they have inside the rooms and throughout the hotel. The hallways are beautiful and light and have really nice, beautiful ornamentry. Walking down the hallways, it doesn't feel like you're part of a conference hotel. The style outside of the pools is so cool. We do wonder if they're going to be moving some of that style indoors as well. It would help the consistency of the property but that being said, we really like the style at the pools. The style in the room features a lot of textures. There's a lot of artwork and fabric throughout the room. It does make it very warm, very comfortable. While there is a lot of heavy furnishings, we do love all the wall accents that are thorough throughout the hallways and in the rooms. While the windows are not floor to ceiling at this hotel, you do have a very beautiful, expansive view out the windows as well. Overall, we rate this property 4.2 stars. We did have an amazing stay here. While we have stayed here in the past, this is a beautiful beautiful hotel and it is extremely consistent every time. We love that all of the rooms are suites and we really loved the addition of the Prestige Club on this stay. Even if you're not staying at the Venetian, I do think if you do come to Vegas, it is 100% worth going and checking out the canal shops. It is one of my favorite things in Vegas and something that almost every single time we've come to Vegas in the past, we always do find some time to either eat on the canals or at least walk through some of the shops. I do think it's one of the most unique things that you can find here in Vegas and it's certainly worth checking out. So if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you don't already, be sure hit that subscribe button. We've got lots of videos coming out from the Las Vegas area. We'll be doing hotel reviews, room tours, and a lot more. So be sure to stay tuned. And as always, I'm Marin. And I'm Max. And we're Voyager Group. See you out there.